So if you resin 3D print, eventually you're gonna need to replace the FEP sheet on the bottom of your vat. It's just something that wears out over time after you know lots of printing on it, or you may dent or scratch it up a little bit or puncture it, which in that case you need to replace it right away. Otherwise you're gonna cure uh, resin onto your LCD screen if it's leaking through. Not very fun, let me tell you. So um, today we're gonna replace this one. It's for an Elegoo Mars Pro 2. I think, for, I think all the Elegoo uh, printer vats are the same, the way you're gonna do this. I've already done one on my Mars 2 Pro, uh, and the process is very simple. Um, now, if you have a different type of printer, I'm not sure how those go. I've never seen or, or done a replacement on any of those. Uh, but for the Elegoos, they're very simple. Um, it's, it's a pretty easy process. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'll just kind of get some cameras in. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. Um, I didn't even you know, do extensive research watching videos or anything like that. I read the directions that came with the, the replacement FEPs and I just had at it. I thought, let's see how easy this is, and it was super easy. So let's get the cameras in, and we'll kind of take this thing apart and get a new FEP sheet on here. All right, so I got my liners right here. Um, this was a five pack, and it says it's a, the 2.0 release film. Now this is the 1.0 that was on here. Supposedly they came out with a kind of new and improved um, less sticky. It's going to release a little bit better with the 2.0. So if you're going to pick up new ones, I would recommend getting these. They do release a little bit better. Um, now this says it's for the Mars 3, but they work fine for, for all of them, for the 2, 2 Pro, probably the original. Um, all you're going to do is just trim a little bit more off. It's just a little bit bigger, but it works fine. Now all you're going to need is two tools, and you should have some of these. Uh, they're just two Allen wrenches. Um, you should have gotten these with your printer, or if you bought extra vats, um, these came with that. And so you have a bunch of screws, uh, or nuts, uh, screws I guess, on the outside of this. There's two rounds, so you're going to use the larger one for the first round. And so you just want to loosen all of these guys up, going around. You just need to get them all out. Now I would recommend keep, you know, your, make sure you don't lose any of these screws. Um, that's kind of obvious I think, but you know, just a, just a little pro tip there. Um, try and maybe have a cup or something like that handy. All right, now that we have all the screws out, this thing just kind of pops right out of here. And you'll notice we have a whole new batch of screws that we get to take apart, So, uh, and even more. So now you're gonna use the smaller one and do the same thing, just take everything apart. All right, so now one thing that I want to mention, uh, this there's some like little particles of stuff and dust on this uh, silicone mat. So I'm actually gonna put something down to work on. And you may wanna just start with something cleaner than what I'm using off the bat. It may be a little bit smarter idea. Um, but now we'll just grab our new FEP sheet. You wanna be careful with this, um, but there are some little plastic sheets that you need to take off, protective sheets. So just kind of be, like I said, be careful while you're doing this. Try to keep as much dust and stuff away as you can. It's not gonna kill anything if you get some dust on it, but. So what you're gonna do is make sure that it's hanging off the edges and you don't really wanna make it very tight. Now you'll grab your other piece and make sure you find the one with the bevels coming in so that your, your screws will fit nice down in there and flush. And you don't wanna be like trying to stretch this or anything, just kinda lay it down, make it loose off the bat, line up these holes. Uh, you might notice that there's, you know, <laughs> there's something in the way of your screw. So you're gonna have to pop holes in there. You can maybe use the, the Allen wrench, but I would recommend just using a sharp object, um, like a, a ice pick or something like that. And I just go through and pop a hole in all of these. Um, but only, at, at this point, I'm only doing the ones 
uh, for this piece that are, are beveled. The other ones are not going to be beveled. All right. Now it's just a matter of screwing everything back in at this point. All right, so the next step is removing all the excess. We got a lot of stuff hanging out. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife. This is actually a scalpel. Um, you can buy these disposable scalpels. They're super sharp, pretty cheap. And so we're just gonna cut in, go around. Just be careful when you're cutting this. You don't wanna cut any digits off <laughs> of your fingers. All right, now with that all trimmed up, now we need to find, watch out for any, any little scrap pieces. You wanna find the side that has the bevels, that's gonna be facing out towards you. And you're just gonna drop this down into your vat. You're gonna to need to po poke holes again I'm gonna do that real quick, but I wanna get, there's a little piece of something down there. I don't want to have there. Make sure that's nice and there's no debris going on around there. Okay, so we just pop that right there. Now we pull out our other screws Oh, don't drop them on the FEP. And we're just gonna need to poke them through that, that plastic a little bit. I'm not even gonna start any of these, I'm just gonna get them all in. Okay, now we come back with the larger Allen wrench. And this is where you wanna be careful because what you're gonna be doing is slowly but surely, you're gonna start tensioning that FEP sheet. All right, there we have it, brand new. FEP sheet, tightened down and ready to print in. So overall, it's not a difficult process, but it does take a little bit of time. That took me about 40 minutes. Uh, and you know, all we're doing is you know, loosening and tightening screws. But um, you, know, you wanna make sure you set, an, set aside enough time that you're not having to rush or anything. I was actually going pretty fast. I probably should have slowed down a little bit. Um, so I'd say set aside about an hour uh, to do one of these just so you don't, you know, make a mistake. I mean, the worst would be if you're, you know, while you're tightening the new one down, you accidentally dent it or rip it. That would just kind of suck. So, you know, take your time, get everything, you know, done correctly without any mistakes and everything's going to be pretty easy, I think. So hopefully this was helpful, just kind of seeing the process of, of what you need to do. Again, this is for the Elegoo series or, or brand printers. I don't know if other brands are different. I, I actually would imagine they probably are. So I'm not sure how those work, but Elegoo is pretty simple. I was pretty happy with this. It's not too difficult to get these things done. Um, so uh, if you have any comments or questions, or if you have any tips on how to do this better, uh, leave those down below. I'd love to see those. And I think that's about it. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video and happy printing.